few years ago, the BBC, CNN, the Daily Mail, the Telegraph, and many other news sites and blogs reported a hoax as fact. The hoax was this. Internet Explorer users are less intelligent than those who use other web browsers. It was a lie that spread like wildfire, despite the thinnest of fabricated evidence that was produced by a website cobbled together on a rainy afternoon. Why did this lie find such instant and universal acceptance, uh, amongst the web savvy anyway? Well, because we love to judge. We are inveterate self-justifiers who need to feel righteous, even if it's about our web browser. We love to feel superior to all the wrong people over there, because that must make us right, right? But we're not superior at all. The fact of the matter is, in the eyes of heaven, we are guilty as hell. And the only reason we're not there right now is the sheer mercy of God. Through Jesus, we have been acquitted and we can leave the dock forevermore. The tragedy is that we want to ignore our acquittal, remain in the dock, and instead turn on our fe fellow accused as though we are the prosecutors. And so with pointed, finger, with pointed fingers, we try to act all superior. We basically figure that if we pretend to be the judge, maybe everyone else will forget that we are actually the accused. This tactic is as old as Adam. As soon as sin entered in, man hid and sought to cover himself by his own efforts. The Lord came to expose him and ultimately to clothe him in acceptable coverings. But in Adam's excruciating exposure, he rejects the way of repentance and receiving. Instead, he just goes on the attack. It's what we all do. You know, the man blamed the woman, the woman blamed the snake, and the snake didn't have a leg to stand on. It's the old joke. Boom, boom. But this has been the way of man ever since. And Jesus says, Matthew chapter 7, verse 1, Judge not, lest ye be judged. That's the old translation. That's the one that's probably familiar to you. In the modern translations, it says, Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way as you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. It's the old saying, if you point the finger at others, three fingers are pointing back at you. Shouldn't that give us pause before we hurl accusations at others? Francis Schaeffer taught this truth by asking his audience to imagine an invisible tape recorder that was hanging around their necks. Uh, these days we might update the illustration and call it, uh, call it an app on your phone. Imagine there's an app on your phone that records every moral judgment that you ever make about somebody else. Each time you hold another person to account, each time you tell someone they mustn't, each time you bemoan a colleague or an institution, it records your judgment. Imagine the litany of judgments, scores every month, hundreds every year, thousands in a whole lifetime. Imagine that on the last day, Jesus retrieves these recordings and hits play. Imagine if every standard that you have held the world to was applied to you. Who could stand? No one. So do not judge. You have been removed from the dock. You don't need to shift around the blame. It's all been taken by Christ. Everything you've ever said and thought and done has fallen on Jesus. He's paid for it all in full. God will never condemn you. So don't condemn others. Get out of the blame game. Now listen, Jesus is not saying here, never be discerning about what people say. Uh, he, can't, he can't be saying that because in a few verses, he's going to tell us to be discerning about false teachers and to reject them. So Jesus is not saying don't be discerning and he's not saying everyone's right. Um, he's not saying there are no moral standards. He's not saying pretend to notice when injustice occurs. No, no, no. This is not the abandonment of all judgment, but it is the end of all judgmentalism. We are never to find our identity in being right. And we are never to enjoy calling others wrong. If we revel in blame games, we are caught up in the old ways of condemnation. But Romans 8 verse 1 says, There is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. So then, in the words of Jesus in Luke chapter 6 verse 36, Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Do not judge.